Hello, we're learning to play Little Waltz. So here's the second of three videos. The first video was getting to grips with the left hand part. Uh, this second video is going to be getting to grips with the right hand part, surprise, surprise. So uh, the key has three flats in it, B flat, E flat and A flat. So let's have a little look here. So it's a funny little bit in the right hand here. We've got a B flat with your little finger. And although it looks like you play B flat three times, one on each bar, they are in fact tied. So it's just one long B flat. And under that is this little tune, which starts on G. So I'm just going to leave that little B flat out at the top for a moment, just so we can see what the tune is. So it starts on G, walks down to E flat like that, then skips back to the G, and then goes down, up, down, down, up. Okay, I'll play you again. So it's all just on those three notes, okay? G, F, and E flat. So here it is. Do one more before we look at the next bit. So it's three, two, one, three, two, three, two, one, two. G, F, E flat, G, F, G, F, E flat, F. Now we're going to add that B flat over the top of it all so you get like a chord at the beginning, like this. So here it comes. And you'll end up on two and five there. So it starts moderately quietly and gets a bit louder. Now the next bit, new position, you're going to place your thumb on D and bring your third finger over onto C and your second finger onto B flat. So I'll put all the first bit. Now thumb's coming onto the D. C over. Now next bit, you're going to place a C at the top. Now it sort of works like this. See it this way, as walking down, walking down five notes, not forgetting the two black notes. Now, slight difference now is if you have a look at the music, you'll notice the first note is held, and then the others walk down. See the way it works? I'll do that again. And this is loud. Now, I'm holding that C a little bit too long at the end, deliberately at the moment. I'm, now I'm going to let go of it on the second bar, so you go, you keep it held, and then bring it off here. And then adding the next bit on, three over onto E flat, two onto D, back to your E flat, thumb under onto F, walk up that little pattern of notes as far as B flat, and your second's going to go onto that G, and your thumb onto the E flat. Here's the hold of the second line again. So starting from the C, keep the C held for three notes, then let go, hold for a moment. Here it is again, I'll sing the notes out. So you go C, B flat, A flat, G on its own, F and hold, three over onto E flat, D, E flat, thumb on F, G, A flat, B flat, and then thumb, just bring your thumb in there. So watch you, don't sort of do a big stretch of your hand. Just try to slide in a bit, get your thumb on the E flat, second on the G. Here's the whole of the right hand part. So I'll count it in in three. We'll keep it very nice and steady. One, two, three. Thumb going onto the D. Three over, move up to the C. One last time, so something closer to the original, to the full speed. One, two, three. Two, three, thumb on D. Getting louder. Slowing up. And there we have it. So lots of work on that. When you're happy that you've mastered the left hand and the right hand, move on to the third and final video where we're going to bring it all hands together.